This is Beats, Bars, and Basketball presented by The Music Shop. My name is Curbs. Today we're going to be talking about how the king is quite comfy in another kingdom. I just want the rings like a ring. From the first time we met LeBron, we knew that hip-hop was a huge part of his image. As soon as he got in the league, tons of stars gravitated to him, but most notably his relationship with Jay-Z and Drake has been very fruitful. As it went on though, it became clear that it was more than just a fan-brother relationship these guys really did some big business. I mean, what more evidence do you need than the fact that he had four of the biggest stars in music for a song on a soundtrack off of his movie, a documentary about himself. And he didn't just approach it like, hey, will you guys be on my song like some fan shit? No, he tied it in with Sprite, somebody that he was endorsed by, and everybody got paid. Lining up deals like that where you're getting revenue from multiple sources is called sync licensing something that a music industry vet would do. And at this point, LeBron is a music industry vet and they don't just trust him in the boardroom. But now it's become a thing where they respect LeBron's taste. In 2019, 2 Chainz, quite the hooper himself, more on that later, selected LeBron to executive produce the album Rap or Go to the League. And it was pretty good. LeBron has showed himself to be as versatile in the hip hop world as he is on the basketball court. And that's why we all respect him as the king. Hey, stay tuned for more on Beats, Bars, and Basketball on the intersection of hoop and hip hop.